Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Meghan Markle and her family, Samantha Markle. Yeah, it keeps on coming. So basically, Samantha is suing Meghan because she said during an interview with Oprah Winfrey that she was that she was raised like an only child. Samantha disputed that account saying that Meghan Markle have siblings, have sister and half brother. And she's suing saying that by saying she was raised as an only child, she was discrediting her and her family who have long said that they were brothers and sisters. This is silly. Now, Meghan is asking for the dismissal of the case. She's put through another request because the last one was denied because when she put through the request for dismissal, based on a few arguments, Samantha had changed the basis of her original lawsuit, changing that based on Meghan Markle's request for dismissal. So when the judge looked at Samantha's complaint compared to what Meghan was saying, they did not match. So he denied Meghan Markle the dismissal of the case. So Meghan Markle had to refile another request for dismissal, this time based on Samantha's modified complaint or document. So what Meghan is saying is that when she was with Oprah Winfrey, she said she was raised as a only child. She never said, I am an only child. She said she was raised as an only child. There's a difference there. Being raised as an only child is not being an only child. Meghan Markle, when she was four to when she was 11, lived with her mom, Doria, and Doria raised her. She's the only child in Doria's house. So therefore, when she's with Doria, she's raised as an only child. That's what it felt very much like to her. So when she went from 11 to a certain age to her dad's house, she was the only child there because by that time she was 11, there's a 13 years difference between Samantha and Megan. So Samantha was already 24 years old. She had gone to college and she had had a family and was living in a different stage. So yes, Megan Morkel was very much living like an only child because she was the only child in that house. She didn't have any half brother living with her. So she was raised like an only child. She was the only person there. She could rely on her own. She wasn't rely on brothers and sisters because she didn't have any living close by. She didn't have any brothers and sisters. She only had half brothers and half sisters, which is very important here, especially since her half brothers and sisters did not get along with Doria. So if you take everything into account, what Meghan Markle said is true. Her family, her father and mother raised her as an only child because she was the only child in the household at the time. It's so true for Doria because Doria didn't have any other children. And somehow with Thomas, because the other children had gone, had left the house. Now, Samantha is saying that, well, Meghan Markle is also liable for spreading mistruth about her life. According to her, she's turning her life into a fairy tale, going from rags to riches, and that's why she's suing her. And I'm like, people are entitled to tell their lives the way they want it to be. It has nothing to do with you. If I was living, for example, in America somewhere, and I want to write in my biography that at 11, I moved to, let's say, let's say England. Well, it is my story that I want to tell, even if it's not true. I'm not saying that Meghan Markle was lying. What I'm saying is that it's a subjective account of the life that I had. So you can't sue someone because he uh, told his story on his own term. And you have to remind uh, Samantha that Meghan Markle never wrote the book. She did not write the book. She did not contribute to the book. She was merely asked by her office her office being Jason Knopf, to provide context. And they do that all the time in the royal family. Sometimes when people write biographies about the royal family, they send it over to the royal family so they can look through and tell them what they think, if they have an issue with something, or if they want to provide additional context to what has already been written. And that's what Jason Knopf advised Megan to do. And unfortunately, she was very naive and she didn't expect that man, allegedly, to betray her. She she did. Anyhow, now Megan is saying, listen, I didn't write that book. You need to talk to the author of that book. Don't come after me, right? Don't come after me. Basically, that's what she's saying. And to be honest, Samantha doesn't have any case here. Megan Markle never said, I was an only child. She said, I was raised like an only child. And I think that people who are, let's say, honest and fair and kind of logical, who thinks logically without any emotion or bitterness to what Megan Markle should see the difference. Again, I'm saying there's a difference between being raised as an only child and being an only child. I might have brothers and sisters somewhere in the world 
that are not from my mother. And with my mother, I am raised as a an only child because I'm the only child of my mom. She's, I'm going to be lonely in my house. I wouldn't have brothers and sisters to rely on. That's what I think Meghan Markle meant. The same for Thomas Markle when she was growing up with Thomas Markle or she was raised by Thomas Markle. She was the only, the only child there because she was 11 and they were 24 and 25. They had gone to do their own things, have their own families. Hence the fact that Meghan Markle was raised as, as a single child, only child. But she never said that she didn't have any brothers and sisters. I feel that maybe Samantha Markle feels like Meghan Markle is trying to erase her from her life and she's fighting so hard to latch on to Meghan Markle making money while slamming her. That's my opinion on that one. I might be wrong, but it's my opinion. I'm not saying that it's the truth, but that's what I think when I read everything that has been going on, that has been said about the case. Anywho, I've never seen a brother so annoyed that a sister said that her sister said something that she doesn't agree with. Normally, if you don't agree with that, you're like, whatever, I don't care. But this one really, really want to hurt Meghan Markle at all costs. And it doesn't matter. She will go for it. I don't understand the hatred that she has for Meghan Markle, honestly. They have like 13 to 14 years difference. There's no reason why she would be so jealous of Meghan, to be honest. And when she was 13, Meghan was a baby, a baby. How could she have been jealous of Meghan? How could she have been? I mean, I don't understand that. You cannot resent a person for the attention that she was getting from the parents. It's also normal that the parents will coo one child because the child is, is little. If Samantha didn't have that kind of uh, attention, she has to take it up to her father and to her mother, but not to the child that's receiving the attention. Well, anywho, this is Samantha stuff. Let me know what you think. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.